Welcome to Faith and Wellness. And together we meditate on this beautiful book, The Secret of the Rosary of St. Louis de Montfort. A white rose for a priest. Thank you to those of you that have subscribed and are sharing. May the Lord continue to, to guide us, enlighten us, and give us the wisdom that we need to learn in this journey as we continue to learn more and more about the fullness of our beautiful, beautiful faith. And today we're going to meditate on this white rose for a priest. Why a white rose for a priest, you might be wondering. Well, let's find out. A white rose for priests. They are ministers of the Most High. You, my fellow priests, who preach the truth of God and who teach the gospel to all nations. Let me give you this little book as a white rose that I would like you to keep. The truths contained in it or set forth in a very simple and straightforward manner. As you will see, please keep them in your heart so that you yourselves may make a practice of the Holy Ros Rosary and taste its fruits. And please have them always on your lips too so that you will always preach the Rosary and thus convert others by teaching them the excellence of this holy devotion. I beg of you to be aware of thinking, to be aware of thinking of the rosary as something of little importance, as though ignorant people and even several great but proud scholars, far from being insignificant, the rosary is a priceless treasure which is inspired by God. Almighty God has given it to you because he wants you to use it as a means to convert the most hardened sinners and the most obstinate heretics. He has attached to it grace in it, in this life, and glory in the next. The saints have said it faithfully, and the popes have endorsed it. When the Holy Spirit has revealed this secret to a priest and direct and director of souls, how blessed is the priest. For the vast majority of people fail to know this secret or else only know it superficially. If such a priest really understands this secret, he will say the rosary every day and will encourage others to say it. God and his blessed mother will pour abundant grace into his soul so that he may become God's instrument for his glory. And his word, though simple, will do more good in one month than one of other preachers in several years. Therefore, my dear brethren and fellow priests, it will not be enough for us to preach this devotion to others. We must practice it ourselves, even if we firmly believe in the importance of the Holy Rosary, but never said it ourselves. People could hardly be expected to act upon our advice. No one, no one can give what he doesn't have. Jesus began to do and, te and to teach. We ought to pattern ourselves on our blessed Lord, who began by practicing what he preached. He we ought to emulate St. Paul, who knew and preached nothing but Jesus crucified. This is really and truly what you will be doing if you preach the Holy Rosary. It is not just a commemoration of our fathers, and hail Marys, but one of the on the but one on the contrary. It is a divine summary of the mysteries 
of the life, passion, death, and glory of Jesus and Mary. I could tell you at a great length of the grace God gave me to know by experience the effectiveness of the preaching, the holy of preaching, of the preaching of the Holy Rosary, and how I have seen with my own eyes the most wonderful conversions it has brought about. I will gladly tell you all these things if I thought that it would move you to preach this beautiful devotion in spite of the fact that priests are not in the habit of doing so these days. But instead of all this, I think it will be quite enough for this little summary, and I am writing it if I tell you a few ancient but authentic stories about the Holy Rosary. This excerpt really go to prove that I have outlined for the faithful in French. The Secret of the Rosary, St. Louis, by St. Louis of Montfort. This beautiful book, which I will be doing it in a series of videos so that we can meditate upon it's such a beautiful, beautiful book. It goes far beyond mere research. We might say that it contains everything that can be said about the rosary, its content and form, its real worth about the instruction necessary for its appreci appreciation and use. De Montfort calls the rosary the mystical rose tree of Jesus and Mary in life, death, and eternity. He says that the roses of your rosary will never wilt or die, and they will be just as exquisite thousands of years from now as they are today. He warns us against both the ignorant and the scholars who regard the rosary as something of little importance. The rosary is a priceless treasure which is inspired by God. <clears throat> so friends, let's continue. Let's continue to pray the rosary, and especially my friends, the priests. One of the priests, that, the highest priest of all, is Jesus. And then the rest of the priests around the world. But one of the popes that has been so holy and has his mission was to teach about merciful love is the good it's Pope Saint John the second and another priest that really pray not one rosary but over 50 rosaries a day and he confessed so many sinners and helped so many sinners and continues to help so many sinners is my spiritual father I have a lot of spiritual fathers Saint Joseph is my spiritual father and Padre Pio my spiritual father and then we have and then I have my spiritual father which is Father Harvey for my community and then another spiritual father my little brother our father Juanito and then this amazing father too who he was he was helping us in our wedding serving he's an amazing priest as well and this little guy right here he came to my house and jumped on the trampoline with my kids when he was a little kid so why did I 
put him here without their, um, you know, priest outfit. The reason being is because all these four priests have done wonderful things. There are men from the, my community and they continue to work hard for the extension of the kingdom of God. And then of course, we have Pope Benedict, another great priest. That my heart says that he could have done a lot more if he would have been allowed, but he did the best he could with the means that he had. And of course, all of this represents us, the lay people who need priests. And of course, like the Montfort said, St. Louis de Montfort said, the secret of the rosary is available for us. It's the greatest weapon that we have. And we got to learn the secrets together. And of course, who, who protects all of the priests? Our mother of sorrows. She's always there protecting and asking the high priest, which is Jesus Christ, to grant graces to the popes, to the bishops, to the cardinals, to the deacons, and to everyone to help in the extension of God's kingdom. And remember, wherever Mama Mary is, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit is. So this white rose is for all my friends who are priests. And there is more good priests that are gonna be coming up. And actually, the new generation of priests are actually going to do amazing things. We're already seeing this. This is the new generation, started the new generation. But more are coming. Another one which is gonna do amazing things is Father Jimmy Millan and Josh, Father Josh. And a lot of priests like Father Chris Alar and so many amazing priests all over the world. So may the Lord bless all the priests out there and thank you for your service and thank you for saying yes like Mama Mary did to do God's will. Thank you once again. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and share. May the Lord bless you. Please continue to pray for me as I continue to pray for you. And let's, let's continue to pray daily for all the priests around the world. Remember, priests are men, but they're not ordinary men. They are priests and they have a special anointing that we don't have so we have to respect pray and pray lots of rosaries for priests and for the conversion of all sinners around the world so all my respect to all the priests so this white rose is for all of you and it comes from mama mary in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen